Okay, what we have here is a AMD uh, motherboard ASUS. Okay, oh, faceplate, the fan, chip, memory, CD-ROM, and the power unit. And we also got a new case for this as well. Okay, uh, what we have is a Antec uh, case, and you see is it has a USB ports and the uh, uh, ports for sound and mic in front. But the reason why I got this case was basically because it has a larger fan and it has a power unit on the bottom. D, you'll probably put down here. Okay, screws. And you see, you got the same side of the case. Paper. And it looks like it has uh, everything we need in it, but the front fans and side fan. But for this build, these two fans would be enough. Looks like the connectors for the front as well. Yeah, the power supply. And we're gonna open that. Okay, Tool Master. Okay. It's a fairly adequate power supply. Lucky I'm not using this box over it. Do it this way. Master Pass Five. That's the unit itself. Okay, well, nothing to it. Hopefully, this comes with screws, and well, at least this has the screws with it. Of course, the plug. Okay. Okay, I did find the screws, and they were tucked behind here, which I forgot to look through. But luckily, my assistant found them. Okay, let's see what's in the box. See what we have. Okay, screws, screws for the motherboard, and a couple other things. Even screws to 
the the uh actually I don't know what these are for. I'll probably have to read the instructions for that. But it just may be extra screws for this. Or for the C D ROM Okay. Basically what we're doing now is that we're gonna line this motherboard up with the with the screws since it, you know it has multiple ones okay and these screw holes uh, right here it looks like right there 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 and here and, and these two right here are already lined up we're just going to fill the rest of them in with this Okay. And and where this is gonna fit in, it's gonna fit into a hole like this. Actually there's a tool to do this that unfortunately we don't have it right now. And I lost mine. And they're gonna screw down like this. What I did here is that I actually marked them. This is a standard ATX board, but, uh, you know, I don't want to go by memory. So, if you look at them, you can see where I marked and where I wasn't sure. Make sure that these screws lined up. Or these screw holes lined up. And you see the ones that we left there. Right now... They need to be... Tight, but not too tight. So I'm not gonna get this going just so you can see how it works. Some of these screws are hard to get closer, so I suggest you screw down the motherboard first before you put in the other hardware. Okay, it looks like we just have a few left.
And now we're going to put it in the chip and connect something. Some things is up on the motherboard. As well as put in the memory. And we're not going to put in a video card on this uh, video. Okay, I'm going to put the power unit in here. They actually have it so that the power unit can stay on the bottom. But I need the intake fan to be on top in this insulation because there's nowhere for it to get air on the bottom. Plug in the main power to the motherboard. Let's get this lined up first. got the CPU in and we use the mark on the corner to line it up and you can see that on the motherboard and on the socket on the looks like the little gold symbol and we're relatively sure that this is lined up right but we want to double check it with the instruction you don't want to get this wrong Okay, we're going to lock it down. That's it. Okay, now we're going to put down the fan. Okay, I think. Okay. 